We're just a few minutes away from rush hour. If you frequent Loop 360 west of Austin, you may be wondering what all the construction is about. KXAN's Amanda Dugan went straight to the source for the answer. Good morning, everyone. I am joined by Diane Hodges of TxDOT. She's going to walk us through some of the major projects that are happening on our roads. We've seen a lot of changes on Loop 360 in the past few years. Your crews have been out there busy at work. What does TxDOT have planned next for the road? Well, if, uh, if you have been driving down Loop 360, you probably noticed our crews are out there and working in the median. So we have a nice grassy median along Loop 360, which allows for the placement of a cable barrier. And what's nice about putting a cable barrier down, uh, down Loop 360 is if traffic, if, if a driver was to lose control and drive into the median, they're not going to drive uh, into the lanes of oncoming traffic. The cable barrier will actually uh, prevent them from doing that. And because we use a, a barrier, a, a cable system, this actually is very flexible. So it will reduce uh, many fatal or serious injuries because it's flexible and will actually, you know, keep the traffic and the vehicle from having a hard impact on that barrier. And what's also nice about having a cable barrier, especially in an area like Loop 360, which is, you know, very scenic, is you can see through it. So you're not seeing a barrier that, you know, will prevent your ability to really take in the beauty of what we know uh, is what's such a nice part of driving along Loop 360. But what are some other reasons that that is the best choice to put these cable barriers up compared to SH-71 or parts of I-35? But when you're driving on a road like I-35 and we don't have a big median in the middle, that's not an appropriate place for a cable, uh, a cable barrier because of the fact that it flexes. We need to make sure that traffic does not cross over I-35 because there is not a grassy median that gives you a little more space. So uh, it just depends on the road type. If we have a grassy median, that's, that just lends itself to the uh, cable barrier system because you've got more room to allow that barrier to flex.